I'm going to explain how to install. Yeah, not professionally, but what I understood. Uh, DIC system. This is a Dantec Dynamics uh, system over here. So this is the tripod. This is tripod. And the beam which carries the light, the illumination light and the camera. This system is Q, uh, 400Q. So that'd be two cameras, one over here and one over there for 3D uh, digital image correlation. Right now I just put one camera. Uh, so yeah, to look at the camera. You can see the inside of this part. It's opening up and closing. That's exposure. You can turn it, adjust it like this. There are, where is it? Okay, yeah, readings over here, how much the pressure you want. And if you want this much of aperture and you want to set it, just tighten it up so it won't, it won't move. For focusing, there is a slot over here. You can see it, yeah. Slot over here. You have to use an Allen key and loosen it up and then turn this to focus. So that's it at the front part. Coming to the back. This is a cable, data processing. Also another cable, I'm not sure what it is. Just, this is my first day on it, <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, these are the heat sinks to dissipate the heat. It'll generate quite an amount of heat. So these two go to a connector over here since we are only using one camera we can connect it directly over there this uh, this cable the green one over here directly but if you're using two cameras we have to connect it over here the green one over here and the other this port would be connected to the camera over there so those two camera come inside and plug in here and a single uh, cable would be connected over here so it's kind of a, like a joiner. <sighs> yep. And moving to the tripod, we have to make sure there are spirit levels over here. You can see uh, it's a bubble at the center inside this uh, the black circle. So it has to be co uh, concentric. And yeah, there is another spirit level over here. Right now it's not perfect. Yeah. Oh. That's too much. So what you have to do is just slightly adjust it so that it comes to the center. So you can make sure your apparatus, your camera and everything is steady, stable. There's this and this. Is there anything over here? Yeah, there's another one over here. I'm not quite sure how to use that because it's always up. Maybe some other, some other people would be knowing it. And yeah, these other degrees, you can see it, in which you can tilt, yep. And there's a lever over here. You can raise the whole thing up without screwing. Yep, good. And this is the illumination that is used. One sec, I'll just switch it on. Yeah. Good color. It's red in color. So yeah, I'll just switch it off again. So yeah, leading. So there's one wire coming out of this, uh, this illumination device which goes over there, we'll be leading this wire. So first of all, these, the, cam the wire from the camera, these two wires join here. And there'd be one more cable that is free, which should be going to the, this camera over here, the camera which would be here. Yeah, and this cable the thick one just follow the thick one the thick cable 
cable it's going 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 it's going and chip it's here oh what is it? yeah so both the LAN cables I'm not sure whether it's LAN Ethernet or what's the name but I'm just seeing you understand right yeah so it comes and joins over here there are four ports you can join it in the first two and the one that we saw uh, from the illumination and the, from the back of the illumination that white one over there it's leading to this place over here over here so this is the white one which is coming from the illumination thing and this unit at the top this is a switch switch it on and off and this controls the brightness so you can yeah control the brightness that's it it's Dantec Dynamics HU4XB and the bottom one over here this one right now I'm using a load varying um, uh, on my specimen so I'm using the A1 which is for load sensing I plugged it in this A1 over here which leads to this Instron machine that is uh, the Instron machine I'm using is 5567 and it would go th this uh, this would lead over there at the back that would be for connected at the X axis because I am just using in plane loads uh, yeah just it would be fixed over there and it would be pulling up from there that side so just one axis in plane load anything else yeah just connections at the back I guess you can see sorry about my bad like all this taking videos I'm very bad at that but bear with me this cable which is written USB over here it comes all the way to the USB port in your laptop and this one over here it leads to this is the Ethernet port this leads to oh where is it leading yeah over here over this one so this is connected to your computer's ethernet port and where does this come up from yeah this is the one we saw over here this green cable right this green one that is the thick one coming all the way up all the way up all the way up and these two ethernet cable as well as this green one it's connected to your camera this is the power which supplies power to this this is the power cable for the illumination brightness control unit okay that's all good at the back anything else not sure okay I don't think anything else is remaining. This is the machine, uh, tensile machine. So I've now I've not used this, so I'm not ready to explain it. But it's just simple, up and down, and for fine position that it's used like this. Yep. And in order to use the DIC software, you should be having a dongle. Uh, which is acts as a key to operate the software This is the dongle which is used just plug it in your USB drive and Activate in your software the software part. I will explain later Okay, thank you